I think it's very important to remind ourselves that it's equally as important to have our head up in the clouds as it is to have our feet firmly grounded on Mother Earth. How many times you go out there, you're meeting people who is all grounding, logical, or I like to say non-logical, logical mind. Everything needs to be planned. Everything needs to be calculated. Everything needs to be perfect. But what they think is perfect and what they think is planned and their goals and expectations of life is purely from the conditioning that they've had. And that's the solid foundation they think they have. But with the solid foundation comes limitations. Because we can never manifest beyond our imagination. Or sometimes we like to say manifesting miracles in our life. How can it be a miracle if it's something that you can think about? Right? Just setting a goal, that's not a miracle. That's, that's just achieving something you set your mind to. But if you want to allow miracles to happen in your life, then it's very important to allow yourself to have your head up in the clouds sometimes. Why? To uh, give yourself some of that woo-woo. To channel that energy. To allow that divine flow to flow through you without reasoning. Don't try to reason with it because you're limited conditioned mind could never understand and could never fathom what it actually means to allow this universal energy to channel through you. So it's important to allow yourself to follow that energy, that energy in motion that we feel this emotional pull and that calling towards things. But then you have the other side of the spectrum where some people are always just going with the flow. They're going with the flow, but there's no form. There's no grounding, there's no foundation, there's no strategy. It's almost like when I always say to people, I say, you've got to master the form and flow with the formless. Some people, they just flow with the formless and where you're going to end up, you don't know. It's tough because change is always moving and you're always just constantly flowing and you're always confused and you don't know where you're going. There's no goal, there's no intention. But what if as a spiritual being, having a temporary human experience, the physical and the metaphysical, what if we learn to incorporate the both? What if we allow ourselves just to allow this universal calling to move through us? When we feel that calling, that heart's desire, we allow ourselves to answer to that calling. But what if we answer to the calling with strategy, with plan, with our feet in the ground? What I'm saying is, Allow your head to be up in the clouds to receive these downloads. Yet at the same time, learn the yin and yang. Ground the energies. Set that solid foundation. Equip yourself. Be skilled. Work towards these goals. Work hard and make it happen. That's how we allow this universal abundance, this universal infinite energies and collective channeling and downloads to actually manifest through us and become a beautiful manifestation in this physical reality.